Hey guys, Jen here, and welcome back to my channel where I help you become your best self through better health. And I know I said I was gonna start sharing more recipes and tips and tricks with you guys because like some of you, I don't like being in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours. So today I wanted to share with you my super simple, easy guacamole recipe. And this recipe came about because one day I was craving guacamole, um, but I had the avocados, I just didn't have the fresh produce uh, to make the guacamole. But what I did have uh, was fresh pico that I typically buy on every grocery trip. And I was like, hmm, why not just mix the pico and the avocado together and make my guacamole? Because in essence, what's in the pico is what is made is the onions and the tomatoes that make the guacamole. So that is, uh, and that leads me also to a quick grocery shopping trip um, and cooking tr uh, trick and tip, which is I buy, so most of my food that I purchase is fresh produce that, you know, spoils easily. I do buy some packaged food uh, because let's be honest, unless we live on a farm, some of our food um, will be, or some of our food will be processed. Um, the idea is to go for minimally processed foods with um, a short list of ingredients, right? So if you're gonna buy packaged things and because it works great for when you're cooking, um, so it does take some of the time out of cooking, but you're still buying fresh packaged things um, that are minimally processed. So the idea is to purchase minimally processed packaged um, things with a short list of ingredients, not the long list of ingredients. So let's get into this quick, simple, easy, guacamole recipe it literally only takes three minutes and it tastes delicious right so let's get into it so what you're going to do is you're going to take your avocados and you're going to split them in half so i don't know if you guys are familiar with how to cut the guacamole or cut the avocado and you see you have a seed in there and so that that actually makes avocado a fruit not a vegetable um, so the best way to get that seed out is, I learned this little trick, is you just take your your knife, oh, you take your knife and be careful because you don't want to cut yourself, and you just take the, the seed out just like that, and then you can just throw it away as you typically would anything else. Now, typically you would, like if you're wanting your sliced guacamole or avocados, you just take your knife and go like this, um, and then you take a spoon, and then you're just gonna scoop it out. This is great for like your tacos or you know toppings and anything like that. And then you see you have your nice uh, sliced avocado. But for the purpose of the guacamole that we're making today, we don't need nicely sliced guacamole uh, or avocado. I keep mixing up the two. So what you can just simply do is just take your spoon and scoop out the guacamole or the avocado. <laughs> And I just mix it all together. And depending on what size avocados you use, it's gonna say like how many avocados you need. These are the small avocados. So I use about two or three. So I have two or three with me here. We'll just see how many that we need. And again, you have your avocado here. You just take your knife, do it like this, and be careful. And then you just grab your, your the seed out like that. Whoop, take it out. Again, we don't need to make the pretty slices, so you can just take out, scoop out the avocado, just like this. And most people think that um, guacamole is unhealthy, but guacamole is actually healthy for you. And the reason why people think that guacamole is unhealthy is because avocado is high in fat. But it's high in the monounsaturated fat that actually lowers your cholesterol and helps with your brain and heart function and also helps stabilize your blood sugar levels for you know anybody that is affected with diabetes, okay? So guacamole is actually okay to eat. Avocados are okay to eat on a daily basis. So don't be afraid of the fat in avocado. It's actually very healthy for you, okay? So we're just gonna mix it up. 
that's enough i could probably do one more avocado but i'm not going to just for the sake of the video now here is the secret weapon the secret ingredient i forgot to grab it hang on <clears throat> so like i said i purchased some things um, packaged in the grocery store so this is a mild pico de gallo salsa that i get almost on every grocery shopping trip because i use it for so many things on those occasions where i don't feel like chopping up onions and tomatoes but this goes great so when you look at the ingredient list it's literally roma tomatoes onion water cilantro jalapeno chili pepper um, sea salt lemon juice uh, lemon juice concentrate and garlic that is it so this is a-okay to use and all you do guys is you just get this look at this fresh 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 and i just scoop it put a little couple of dabs in there a few and you just mix it up and guys that's your guacamole look at that and then you can season it with your um, salt pepper, however you like. One of my favorite seasonings is garlic pepper, so I use that a lot. Let me see. Okay, so here's some garlic pepper. Put it on there. Mix it up. And there you have it, literally three minute <laughs> guacamole. And it's so great, like it tastes good. And you can pair this with your um, favorite chips uh, or your favorite vegetables like you know celery carrots cucumbers or whatever um, and yep yeah, this is it so there you go guys my quick and easy guacamole recipe and you just store it and it's so good y'all mm. even by itself mm. but don't be afraid to eat your avocados and whenever you're craving some guacamole Remember this super simple recipe, all right? Mm, 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 mm. All right, that's it for today. Um, if you found this video helpful, by the way, thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time, okay? Bye.